New data tonight shows the most dangerous city in California is San Bernardino. But as KCAL 9's Serene Branson shows us, community leaders say they are working tirelessly to turn things around. The crimes are heartbreaking. A 12 year old boy killed in a drive by shooting, a clerk shot by masked men at his convenience store. Homicides are up 30% this year to 27. So when you see the good work groups in San Bernardino are doing, Help me get rid of this addiction. like helping kids learn life skills through music, the sobering state of the city is a hard pill to swallow. While those conversations are taking place, lives are being lost. Businesses aren't being built and jobs aren't being created. A Majotti runs the Boys and Girls Club San Bernardino. He reacted to the report using FBI statistics that named San Bernardino the most dangerous city in California. If it was the second most dangerous, it was the third most dangerous, fifth most dangerous, at that point it doesn't even matter. Once you qualify for the list, that means there's work that needs to be done. And his group, along with community partners, are committed to that work in a bankrupt city. When people aren't, don't have the opportunity, opportunity to live, then they just merely survive. So they provide a safe haven for kids and canvas communities. If we are already at the bottom. There's no place to go but up. Reformed gang member Terrence Stone runs Youth Visionaries, the largest gang intervention and prevention group here. I go into the community. I'm, I'm always out and about um, in the community, whether it be in, at the liquor stores or in the neighborhoods. I'm like always in the mix. The Boys and Girls Club Music Makers recently partnered with Chords, which gives kids access to a professional and free recording studio. Everything that they do nowadays is influenced by hip hop. Edwin Johnson, who was homeless at 16, is now founder of the Chords program. Through the music creation, they're releasing their frustrations. They're talking about different things that's going on in their community. It's giving them a voice behind the microphone. In San Bernardino, Serene Branson, KCAL 9 News.